the next two weeks of our life are in this truck. Right, great so. Hello, good morning, and welcome to Whitey Tells. Here, in from Europe, is an Aston Martin 1990, 1988. 4th inside now for the final decontamination stage. Um, leaving the doors cracked open for this part because this, the vehicle is extremely rich and they'll want to gas themselves out. The clay bar, there's, you see the red tinge? This is just from half the side of the bonnet. So wherever the vehicle is stored, I'm guessing it's been sat next to maybe something, sat next to maybe something that's uh, had a bit of repair work or some, who knows, some overspray coming off. It's nice having the door open. What I need to do at this point is turn the exposure down and for my own benefit and my own security uh, run a real in-depth inspection of this car before sort of any work, any hands-on work gets, any mechanical work gets started. What were the vehicle's value, its heritage, um, patina, it's, it's an old girl, uh, she's the same age as me, 1987, 30 years old and I'm 31 on Friday this week. Yay! It's very difficult to know what paint at this point is original, yet to explore that avenue, uh, but the thickness readings I have taken so far are all over the place. Um, it could be all over the place from factory. How these things were painted, the coach work side of things, it's difficult to piece the puzzle together. It's all been IPA'd and panel wipes to eliminate smears and smudges and to prep the paint ready for its inspection and we can see haze here under the scan drip lights. I mean, on a whole, there's been worse. Some edges are already showing signs of burn throughs. And you see the white, it runs up here. Thin spots on the edge of the filler cap there on the corner. It runs all the way down. Abrasions on the bottom of the boot lid here. I'm sure as we explore further, on the very tip of the corner of the wing. See how it's missing paint there. So with the Lancia, what we did was taped up, if we're gonna polish the boot lid, actually overlap the tape onto the boot lid by a millimeter, two millimeters to protect the edges. Good abrasions on the top here, surrounded by a decent stretch there. Really frustrating, I've just been around doing the page inspection, the memory card was full and the camera failed to tell me so, and I've just wasted four minutes running around the car. Uh, if you want to skip the paint inspection because it's going to be a bit tedious but informative and beneficial for my own uh, account, then skip to the time on the screen now to continue the vlog footage from then on. So I haven't already been around the car now anyway, I pretty much know where to take you. Offside front wing, scratchy abrasions here. On the whole, the bonnet's looking pretty good. Abrasion there. 
I mean, there's, there's going to be stretches, there's going to be marks in here that will just drive them once we start polishing. Impact underneath the windscreen, impacts and damage on the wind mirror. This should touch up along with the peppered chips on the base of the mirror there. With overspray and with body shop goings on at the bottom of the door, this is on the off side, surrounded by the chips. On the right hand side panel edge, it looks like it's almost been touched up. You see it's almost like a run. Areas to avoid and be conscious of. Abrasions here on the door, abrasions here on the door and a bit further up. These look almost like uh, maybe a heavy duty car cover or something. It's been jigging around over years of storage. Shouldn't be too difficult to shift. This is the worst air in the car. This is cosmetic damage in the bottom of the rear wing. Good chip in the middle of the door. It's been touched up already. Up onto the roof, I'll have a better idea of this when the lights go out, as, as stupid as that sounds. There's an obvious deeper scratch there in the center. Tatty around the aerial. There's lots going on there, there's lots of haze. The burn through is easy to see now in this light. We start here, and then it goes down. This is an edge that's missing paint. It's been polished through already. The top end of the boot lid, the lower portion of the filler cap here and here. Similar to the Lancia, what we're gonna have to do to polish the boot is actually run two mil, three mil, four mil of tape on the inside edge on the left hand side, uh, as well as covering the wing to protect that from being made any worse. Rear deck underneath the windscreen is a good scratch there with the haze. Someone's been maybe a bit of hand polish or tea cut there. On the boot lid, lower portions, buffer trails, unsightly movement, buffing marks, proof that it's been done before with a little burn through missing paint on the panel edge. Chips under the right hand side cluster and that's interesting. If that's what I think it is, that is a nylon bristle from a car wash. You're kidding. That or a brush, a yard brush like a long reach oh dear investigate that missing paint underneath the vantage badge on the edge here and here lower portion of the bumper at the back this flank it's just unfinished sanding marks quite hazy there in the sense of the near side c pillar looking up onto the roof we don't need the other light to see these marks There's some good scratches there near side wind mirror Stone chips, near side door edge damage, near side lower front wing, light scuff there with overspray at the very bottom portions of the door. Here it runs across the bottom of the wing. Lots of chips. <laughs> Lots of chips. Terry, fish and chips. Lots of chips in the lower portion of the door, both sides. What else? Can we find anything else? This is for my own account for later on as a record. The Vantage badge is actually missing some of the silver trim. If you look at the V and then the A, there's only a small section of silver left on that when this is being blown down. I had spotted this earlier on. You put your hand over there to prevent the air getting underneath it and potentially making more damage. Fluff under here. On a whole, that's about it covered. It's gonna be an ongoing coverage and ongoing inspection as we work around the car. Terry's prepped the wheels. This uh, this one was the really bad one I featured earlier on the video. It's come up a treat. This will now be cleansed further inside to make sure the smaller details have been tackled and then coated uh, and protected later on. Just found it missing paint on the A pillar on the near side here as well. Couple of deliveries, first one in. The camera is extremely dusty. First one in from Carbon Collective, I know what this is. Carbon Collective getting involved with the monthly giveaway episode. So January had a giveaway. February's episode, if you've seen that, had a big giveaway. Mostly Rupes kit and here. Oh, excellent. Good choice. Carbon Collective sample pack, which is a nice offering. Oh, excellent. 
So if you'd like to get hold of Carbon Collective's Platinum Plate, Oracle, Platinum Glass, Platinum Wheels and the Trim Coating, along with endless makeup pads to apply, you need to make sure you watch the March episode, because this will be one of the giveaway items for March. That's a nice idea. And then next up, coming in great time, we have two inch and one inch custom my carbon cutting pads sent in from Pristine Detail. Discounts for Pristine Detail's uh, pads are available. I believe it will be on screen now. I can't remember from the top of my head what it might be, but there's a small discount available if you wish to buy these for your hybrid Nana. Certainly for this car, these will be important. Thank you, Graham. Just finished the three inch on this side of the bonnet down the upper edge of the board here and across the top. But can you see this top corner? You can see where the three inch pad stopped. Now, for me to get the three inch pad into that top corner, watch what happens. When that goes up there, that's very much overhanging on the top edge and that's very much hanging over the side edge. Not really something I want to risk because of how delicate the car is anyway. So it's only laziness that's stopping you from switching down to the hybrid, which is the perfect fit to tackle such area. La 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 Every day I love you less and less. It's clear to see that you've been... This bonnet looks insane. This car will look insane when it's complete. It's difficult, so difficult to hold yourself back chasing every, every single last mark. Perfection, it's a big word. I think I touched on that in a previous episode. This is gotta be still 95%, just so on there. Let me put a little smudge below it so I can focus the camera. Focus on the smudge there. Scratch. Very, very faint, very light. 95%. Haze in here from DA's. Above from the bonnet. It won't come without its difficulties though, I'm sure. Although this wing on the most part is nice and flat. If you look, there's like a duck tail. It goes up slightly, so just to get the pad tight to the edge, and this is a, sh this is a sharp point here as well, so get a two inch maybe pad on the ivory to sit and go up. But also perhaps tape the peak, just so it's protected against burn throughs, and we're not chasing it too far. This is a big contender to be uh, Maybe a top five car of mine, I think, this year. Well, it's only, it's only February. In the last 12 months, at least anyway.
Good afternoon, what do you tell us? Oh, they will put the phone down. It's looking good. Areas like this, don't know if you can see this on the GoPro footage, uh, where the tape has just caught a bit of polish and it's just lifted a little, little, little bit. You want to avoid really buffing over the top of that because you're going to pick up the glue from the tape, which is then contaminated in your cloth, which is then marking and scoring and smudging the paintwork, which can be a bit of a headache. So uh, do I need to take that on? No, I'll leave it on because I'm going to do this. I'll come back to these edges. Show you the result. Obviously this is yet to be refined. 95%. Needs panel wipe as well, needs IPA. And Terry reckons this colour isn't black. More brown than black apparently. I beg to differ. I'm sure if you were here, Terry, you'd argue, you'd argue the point. It's black. It's black, man. Look at it. It's black. This one's brown. Want the real Slim Shady? Please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. Marvellous. That's what we call attention to detail. Tight to the very top, tight to the very bottom. The edges have been preserved. Just gotta run these corners now. Three inch, three inch, three inch, three inch limitations here, limitations there, limitations here and here. Hence why hybrid, 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 hybrid. Maybe you can work out inside the circle what I'm talking about if the camera's picking this up light marring bottom corners which just needs a, a quick tickle there we all With this on the door as well, there's a, a big etching of some description here. Is it a bird bomb? 
I'm kind of too sure. Ah, uh, yes, maybe. Let's see how this comes out. Around the handle is done now. That's going to be ready for refining inside the handle itself. This is a little hazy here because my fingers have slipped outside the handle when polishing that. All yet to be refined. Looking nice. Oh yeah. Here in dinner time now on Tuesday, day two, on the Aston Martin. The wing's complete and the door is complete. Remember the abrasions, the rough sections down this right hand side. Nice and tight at the bottom as it comes up, it's a little smeary. Etching that was around here somewhere was easily removed. There's a lot of Mustang going on here. You're a bit of a stallion, aren't you, Terry? I'm a stallion. You missed, though. I'm gonna try that again. I am stallion. Yeah. Try that again. Free shot. Hey. Try again. Free shot. Oh! <laughs> We're gonna be here till you do it. Before we get lunch, I've gotta get it in the hole. Close. Should we do what? No, this time. You try from there. <laughs> I've got it this time. Four times, all it takes me. Smart. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, four times. Top of the near side wing, we've got a dead, a dead flat edge with sender marks. This is going to be a, going to be a tricky one to pull these out without putting too much on the lip. So again, this will be taped up before we polish. forward to is this bad boy <laughs> my sister bought me this about five years ago for Christmas never had a chance to use it here we go I found a friend to go and play in the snow with a very reluctant friend I must admit yeah heated do this it's not much of a hill is it not really yeah. whoa Needs compacting a bit, Jim. Whoa! Oh, that was cool. Oh, thanks, mate. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> you right? <laughs> right, done. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Ah, não. Ah, não. <laughs> oh, ouch. Oh, my fingers. Coffee? Yeah, good idea. Wow. It's like we've never seen snow before. Luckily, I am walking distance in the village. It's not as though I have far to go. But poor old Terry's daughter's at school and they're closing at 12, so. Anyway. We have removed the Vantage barge. And if you look, to me, it looks like it's not even been level previously anyway. This looks high at that end. And it is here. But that's going to be cleaned up, removed, to then allow all this area to be cleaned up easier. Without the badge in place, we can get tight to the bottom. And then some tricky angles back here on the ledge. The concaveness of all this going on. And then it's just a few needly bits of wind mirrors, front bumper, so I think cutting wise. It must be about 75, 80% there. Or On the back end, there is the blend mark. So someone's been feathered in, you've got the buffer drills and the squirrels on top of that. As that goes across, that breaks away and we lose the scratches. Obviously what we are missing is a chrome bumper. So all this still can be hybrided, the yellow pack can just drop into there to clean this section. And then we're gonna move up top, around the lock, and then finally, finish up the boot did. This is definitely not level where this badge has been. We got here to here. Hey. to be a long old afternoon at the back end of this vehicle. This lower valance is sorted. This section has been hand cleansed and some of it machine polished. There's blend marks and bad bits and overspray here. But don't forget this is behind the big chrome bumper. It's very much improved. It's gonna be very difficult to get that area perfect. Even this, this is behind the registration plate. But that's looking good. This is where the edge of the registration plate has left abrasions. Flip to the left, to the right, Underneath, underneath around the lock, at least 95% on this. Some funny old angles and funny old ledges and angles and curves and ducks and dives. And, and then we've got the tailgate itself now to move on to. So I just picked up the camera to show the 50-50 between the panels. Light clusters also. These need attention still. More. Work in progress above the badge. This is after three hits by hand. Probably another two, I'll be happy with that. Just wanted to touch on this badge, where the badge has been. There's a lot of material, it has been wiped. Uh, in fact, what I will do is grab the tar remover. There's a lot of material on this to come off. So before I polish it, it wants to be manually removed, if you will. Get the glue and tar remover on that to remove some of the remaining residue, perhaps. And even go over it by hand with a hand polish, just to take the, the bad stuff off before you polish it. If you get some of this or a loose bit of paint or lacquer or whatever dirt from the hole caught on the pad, you're gonna cause some deep, deep scratches. 27th of February today and the Feb vlog is going out tomorrow, which is Thursday the 28th at 6 p.m. However, Instagram followers want early access to the February vlog, DM me, direct message me, yes please, for limited time only. Add that to my story.
Current time is 6.33, let's give it to quarter to, so there's 15 minutes thereabouts. Currently 82 message requests on Instagram, so we'll see how many we get in the next 15 minutes. Five. Rear panel, pipe back. Once the badge is on, the 10 mil below the badge, or 15 mil below the badge, eight mil below the badge. Happy days. The two panels look excellent. And out of interest, once the badge is back in place. Yeah, don't tell me that's not worth it. Oh, 99 plus requests, as well as the ones that have come through already on the board. If you haven't already, be sure to sign up and follow White Details on Instagram for daily insights and behind the scenes. I've now got to scroll through 99 plus, I don't know how many that is. I'll come back in a second. 41, 41 messages came through in total. Thursday morning, it's a cold one. It's getting on 14 degrees in the unit now, at least the heating's just kicked in. But it's minus six out there. Unfortunately, we lost Terry yesterday, half, well, only a couple of hours in the morning before the school's uh, kicked out. Now Terry has a young daughter who he had to do a rescue, and I believe they may be on the way in today to sort of catch up with half a day. But I believe Emmy will be gracing us with her presence as well, so that'll be good fun. Practicing the clarinet, which would be like a dad singing no doubt so the progress has stumped a little bit yesterday uh, i spent the majority of the day at the back end sorting the tailgate and the bumper a little bit around the driver's door handle this side to finish off and the lip on top of the door there's the wind mirrors and then the top half of the rear quarter on the offside and the front bumper and then it's about three hours worth of cleansing in the engine bay before we think about refining so who knows where this job may end up. There was meant to be a vehicle being dropped off today, a 99 Advantage, the V550 V8 supercharged Advantage. Uh, it was meant to be driven up here, then I think it was going to be trailered up here, cover transporter, but even that now I think that's going to be a no-go until later notice, so we'll see how the week, see how the week pans out. assistant today Jim. Oh yeah. Gonna put it to work. Do you like it? Oh, that was easy. Spotlights on the front end removed via a single bolt down underneath. Uh, you can see how far I could manage to reach through and clean. So taking it out is allowing the back of this to be done as one and the underside of the grill. What I don't fancy doing to be honest is disconnecting the cabling. So it's just gonna be left carefully to one side. Whoa, that needs to stay there. Put your face in front of that. Put it? Put, put your face in front of the camera. Ah! You see the cage look? <laughs> Christopher, Barbara Streisand, Kenny G, Amy Winehouse. Yeah, Amy Winehouse. We always listen to that. 
Um, he likes Abba. Oh. He listen to Abba and the Carpenters. Sorry, Terry. It's all coming out now, mate. Where's the stool? Here. Yeah. That one's nice and warm. <laughs> this one's cold. Yeah, the radiator's there, aren't you? Very Okay, you pull of it? Yeah. Ah. Thank you very much. All right. Are you making sure he's doing a good job? Yeah. Is he working good? Quality well, control. Is he doing a good job? You have to watch him because he's a bit, you know, it takes a cut to shoot a few corners when he's working. <laughs> Not like daddy. <laughs> you would. <laughs> Got to use this. Is he music playing still? Yeah. What are you listening to? Sounds funny to dad. What? <laughs> Not quite as bad, is it? <laughs> what, was your, what was your first record you bought? Me? Yeah. Chef, hot salty, hot salty chocolate balls. <laughs> Which <From> balls? Us. <laughs> Chef. 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 From South Park, hot chocolate salty oh. balls. Uh, I'll send you it later, it's a bit rude. Uh, oh, baby. You just bought my balls. <laughs> you got it quality then, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> You wait till you see this one, it's not finished yet. Um. <laughs> so that's the polish applied. Now I need to buff it off. So this is where this one looks like that one. Ready? Ah, oh, that looks better. You can see your face in it now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. All right, so you, you, gotta, you gotta do it with the camera. Hello, good morning, and welcome to White Details. And then you can walk around, okay? Yeah. So if you walk around, but watch, obviously watch where you're walking, because you're going yeah. to trip over. <laughs> There. Yeah. Okay. Well, off you go and do a little bit of a walk, do a tour, show what dad is doing. Okay. Say that you've been snowed off from school. Hello, good morning and welcome to White Details. We're going to have a look, um, school's been cancelled so we're going to have a look what daddy's doing. Probably not a lot is he? Point the camera to there. You're looking for little scratches and marks. So look at the scratches. Yeah, okay, so we're going to go back and see what Jim's doing now. Is he doing a good job? Okay. He's polishing. I'm polishing the headlights. The headlights have come out to access dirty areas and these need to go back on. So I need your help now to help me put okay. this back in. Is that okay? Yeah. If you drop this, you get no pocket money for the rest of the year. Okay. okay. No pressure. pocket money anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right, you need to hold that there, Emmy. Yeah. Very carefully, without letting it move at all. Okay, let go. Yeah, you go. Boosh. Is it looking any better? Yeah, slightly. <laughs> Is Daddy singing in the bath? No. Is he singing in the car? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> Until we say stop it and then he just hums it. <laughs> Does it start to rain when you sing? <laughs> no. The cows start to lay down though. <laughs> <laughs> the what? The cows start to lay down. <laughs> when your dad comes back in, ask him if he's going to put the kettle on. Say, oh, you, Telly. Oh, you, Terry. You put the kettle on. Okay. When he comes back, I tell him to put the kettle on. Yeah, and say, milk one sugar, please. Okay. <laughs> or you, Mellors, tea one sugar. What? Or you, Mellors, tea, one sugar. Or you, Mellors, on tea, one sugar. Tea, one sugar. Okay. <laughs> or you, Mellors, hey, one what? tea, and one sugar. Like I know where that's come from. <laughs> <laughs> one tea, and one sugar. Has somebody been prompting you what to say? And Terry's replacement. I'm going to say bye to everyone. Just come wave to the camera. Okay. Say bye, white details. Bye, bye, white details. Is it running?
Just on half past three Thursday, all the cutting is complete. The front section, that was an intricate spot. Spotlights, the grill, the side of it has all came off. Oh, that's tackled with the chrome bumpers. They've been cleansed by hand. Uh, the next three hours for me will be in here, the engine bay. There's lots of, lots of knuckles to lose, I would imagine, in this space. I wanna try and get down here, get all the grease, get all the oil. Bit limited as to what was done um, during the wash with water. So a lot of it's been saved for the hand cleanse, which starts now. On a whole, very impressed of how this is coming up. It's been a joy, actually. It's been a refreshing change to enjoy a job. Not all of them you can enjoy them because they throw curveballs. They just get sort of a bit mentally, you get a bit mentally involved in the job. But this one, it's waiting on fining. It's a bit dusty and messy, covered in tape stuff, but it's stunning. So tomorrow, Friday, is going to be refining, it's going to be touch-ups tomorrow, it's my birthday. It's going to be a late one, then I've got guests coming tomorrow night, a family for a meal, all being well, if, if weather permits. And then Saturday, Sunday, interior, wheels, protection, all the dressings, all of the good stuff. An hour and a half cleansing, de-greasing, de-dunking, trying to get as much of the grease down the bottom under the Webers as possible. An hour and a half on this side, got to repeat the situation on that side. Starting over again, it's this sort of stuff, trying to get all the gunk. Using a lot of AutoSmart TARDIS tar remover, which is great for sticky bits. See if you can see a difference between the block on this side, a bit patchy to this side. Took a lot of work, but it is cleaning up. All the plugs have been out, the HD leads have been um, cleansed. I'm gonna do the coil later. The air filter has been out. to wait it's getting late almost there just doing the block you see this fiddly 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 drop down there to get into it's looking smarter and better down here though all the brass work piping Friday the 2nd of March, today is my birthday. First time I picked up the camera today, the refining has been completed. Terry, bless him, is coming for half a day. Still looking after um, Emmy because the schools have been closed, the snow. It's a massive knock on effect, this uh, we Britons just collapse when. So refining is complete. Paint touch ups for me next. The vehicle has just been blown down in the vehicle blower to eliminate any loose material that sat on the surface prior to an IPA panel wipe, or actually Geon Prep I'll be using for this purpose. And then it's onto a few touch-ups at the edge of the doors. There's a few good knuckle size bits missing on bumpers and the underside of the arches, the fragile areas where it's then perhaps wheels this afternoon. Uh, and then think about the interior, some protection and everything else over the weekend. What I am happy with though is the engine bay. These still need sorted by hand. The engine, the block, the greasy areas underneath the underneath the filter. Down here, a lot of time, a lot of patience, just removing the grease and doing the majority of it by hand. Worth it in the end though. This paint touch up is as old as the car. This was first applied back in 1987 with the vehicle.
Aston Martin Legonda Limited paint system. Brush application only. And now it says toothpick application only. It sounds okay. Wow. How has this been kept with the vehicle for 30 odd years? Uh, stirring device. Screwdriver. Nice shot. Toothpick. I could do with a pot to try and decant this into. What can I use? With thanks to AM Details. The little top for that is perfect. Uh, how to get it into there though? Yeah. Cheers. It's like a little shot of Sambuca. Oh, Alan, you've got a hole in the bottom. Oh. Uh, open your eyes, Jim. Had I paid better attention, there is a hole. This is an old Dion phobic bottle, which has been blown out, it's clean. No holes in that one. The purpose of this exercise is to cover up these areas. Pointed these out at the start of the detail, there's not a lot you can do other than touches up, other than a smart repair and blend and paint. Wind mirror, one here. There's the one on the top of the driver's door ledge here. But on a side note, look how nice the correction is. Even this one inch strip on the top of the door. Down the lower portions on the door, two, three, four. Underneath where the Vantage badge sits above the light cluster, there's one just above the Aston badge at the back. The impact on top of the wind mirror on the offside. Leading edge of the bonnet. You get the idea. Birthday's over, uh, back on to the Aston. Thanks to everyone for the uh, birthday messages over the weekend on the various media platforms. I was out last night for a family meal, which is very nice. Uh, and then this evening out with a few mates for a couple of beers. First job today, I'm gonna tackle the bright work, the exhausts, and then I'm gonna spend some time on the interior. This is lovely. I wish you could smell this classic Aston Martin smell. Hang on. Wonder what's on here. We'll try and play that later. Rear seats out of the back of the Vantage. Let's take a second to appreciate the workmanship back here. Look at that. They don't make them like they used to. pause function so unless they're on the head they don't play uh, confuse it Bowser Wilkins PX noise cancelling headphones yet to use them with the polisher the compressor I can barely I don't even know it's on
I forget now if I pointed this out earlier. You see this little valve down the bottom at the back? It's actually to check the spare tire pressure. This tube is going to be connected to the valve on the other side. Pretty smart and pretty simple. Goes through there, round. To be honest, that needs polishing. Oh, this looks heavy. Here. Full size. Just about 5 p.m. Saturday, that's me done for the day. Still a fair bit on the board to do. Door shorts and engine bay paintwork, the chrome doors inside and out. Paint protection, final vac, windscreen sticker, registration plates, glass, toothpick. Work in progress on the interior, it's shaping up nicely, it's almost there. You can see the chrome's looking smart, that's all been done. Awesome place to be. Still need to do some additional work on the handles, they're looking good. But I could do with just getting a cocktail stick with the very bottom portions and then the very back to get the further tarnishing down the sides. These need polishing down the door shuts inside there, chrome on the windows inside and out. So now it's time to celebrate the birthday with a few drinks in Lincoln Town with a few friends. I wish me luck. And if you're interested, this is the reason I was wearing my gloves during the week. It's healing nicely. Deep one. Just 
beautiful. There's a new tracking device on the camera I've not seen before. Hopefully that reduces the flicker. Anyway, 1988 Aston Martin V8 Vantage, complete after the full white detail. It's received a full major paint correction, really pushing. We always say it, it goes so far, 90%, 95%, but every, really try to push as many marks out as possible where safe to. Interior treatments, wheels off work, full engine bay, which took in excess of four and a half hours, I think, in the end. Um, paint protection upgrades, leather treatments. Is it home time? It's 22.8 on a Sunday night. And first thing in the morning, there is a, a 90s V8 Aston Martin Vantage uh, being dropped off. Uh, so I wake up to this one in the morning, hopefully dry, and then we'll get cracking on the supercharged. Just looked at the key, that could do with uh, a bit of toothpickery. I'll do that later. What you're about to see now is the after footage of the Aston Martin. Do enjoy. If you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up. It doesn't benefit the channel anyway, other it doesn't financially benefit the channel. It just tells me, the creator, it tells another creator that you appreciate the lengths and the efforts that's gone into it. It's good to see the uh, thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already, and we'll see you very soon.